If you're having trouble detecting a bite, we got a few tips that'll help you. Welcome back here to the Guggen Lab. Sometimes a bass will absolutely rattle the rod out of your hand, and sometimes it's a very subtle bite. And if you're not used to feeling those bites, sometimes the fish can be running off with your bait. Let it go, you won't even know it. This is especially going to happen with plastics. So, you know, a crankbait, a spitterbait, moving baits, the fish will pretty much just get on there. You just keep reeling. But with a plastic bait, you have to be able to detect that bite in order to reel down and set the hook. So one of the first things that can help you is choosing the right rod for fishing a plastic style bait. And, and if you're fishing your plastics on a slower reacting rod, like a crankbait rod or an old fiberglass rod, for example, those bites are gonna be dampened dramatically with that. So fishing a modern graphite rod is going to help you with that. So also making sure you've got the right action, you know, fishing a, a medium heavy fast, uh, something with a fast action is going to help you detect those bites a little bit better. Number two, if you're having problems detecting the bite with fluorocarbon, uh, go to a braid. So using a braided line, you know, 30, 40 pound braid with a uh, fluorocarbon leader. There is almost no stretch in braid, so it's going to be a more direct detection, uh, way less dampening than a fluorocarbon or a monofilament. But the only disadvantage is the fish are gonna be able to, to see braid, so you almost always wanna use a fluorocarbon leader. So if you're out fishing really deep, uh, maybe offshore, sometimes it helps to have that braid where you get that direct connection to your bait, even in deep water. The third thing is use your fingers and place it on the blank of the rod if you can, and even on the line. So the way I like to grip my rod is I'll put two fingers kind of splitting down on the bottom, and then I'll actually put a finger up on uh, the cork, so right at the base of the rod and then I'll take my other hand when I'm having trouble feeling the bites and I'll put that right in the front and I'll just place my fingertip right on the blank. So that is direct connection to the blank itself so you're feeling those really light, sensitive bites. Another thing that you can do is just watch your line. If you're seeing your line move, you know, a foot off to the left or right or whatever, or if, if you feel like you're losing connection, maybe your bait, it feels like it's falling when it shouldn't be falling, just go ahead and set the hook. Sometimes those weird little feelings that we get or just little inklings like, did my line move off this way? Just go ahead and set the hook. Hook sets are free. So hopefully those tips will help you connect on some more bass. If you wanna see more tips and tricks, subscribe right here to the Google Lab.